Long division. Long division can be extremely hard, and I understand that. It's confusing. But if you follow this video and follow the steps, I think you can get any long division problem. First thing you got to do is write your problem down. You got 306 divided by 9, where 306 is the dividend and 9 is the divisor. On the right here, you need to put DMSB, that stands for divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. On the left here, you're going to put your multiples of 9. Why? Because you're dividing by 9. So put your multiples of 9 up here. And I got 9 times 6. Sorry, 9 times 7. 9 times 7 is 63. And 9 times 8 is 72. And 9 times 9. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, yeah, that's easy for you. You know what your multiples of 9 are. Even if you don't, if you know what 9 times 1 is, which is 9, add 9 to that, you get 18. Add 9 to that, you get 27. Add 9 to that, you get 36. You see where I'm going here. So if you don't know what 9 times 9 is, go back to 9 times 8, and it's 72. Add 9 to that, and you get 81. Now that I have that done, I'm ready to begin. Let's go get a red pen real quick. There we go. Now, the first thing we've got to do is divide. I'm going to put a dot there. So I gotta see how many times nine can go into three. I gotta take three divided by nine. So how many times can nine go into three? That's zero times. It can't do it. Now I gotta multiply. What is zero times nine? Zero times nine is zero. Now I gotta subtract. What is three minus zero? That's three. My last step is to bring down. I gotta bring down this number over to the right of the right of the of the three, which is a zero. So I gotta bring the zero down. I get thirty. So my new number here is thirty. Now that I'm done here, I gotta go back to the top and divide again. I gotta go back to the nine and see how many times it can now go inside 30. I gotta take 30 divided by nine. If I don't know that, I can look at my fact family and see which one of these numbers is closer to 30 without going over. That one over, so this one's the closest without going over. So nine times what equals 30, the closest you can get is three. You're gonna put that above the zero, your next number. So I'm gonna put a three above there. So I just divided. What do I got to do next? Multiply. 3 times 9 is 27. If you didn't know that, you could go right over here to your fact family again. That's why you write out your fact family, your multiples. 3 times 9 is 27. Okay, now I got to subtract. And that's why I put the dots over here too, because I got so confused over here. I was writing things and talking. Now I know where I'm at. I'm at subtract. 30 minus 27 is, well, okay. You might have to borrow from the 3, from the 30, bring it down to a 20, regroup it, and put a 10 over there. So 10 minus 7 is 3. Now i got to bring down. I'm bringing down the number next to the 0, which is a 6. And that's my new number. So here's what i got to do now. i got to go back to the top and divide again. So i got to go back to the top, to the 9, and see how many times 9 will go into this new number, the 36. 9 goes into 36 how many times? Well, let me figure it out. Let me come over here and see which one is. Oh, look at that. It's perfect. 36. It can go into 36 four times evenly. 4 times, well, I just divided, so now I need to multiply. 4 times 9 is 36. Now i got to subtract. 36 minus 36 is 0. Bring down. There's nothing to bring down. There's nothing left over, no remainder. My answer is 34.